how Pornhub skyrocketed to success. Some of the audiences of the show might remember the days where pornography was scarce compared to what we have now. Fans in the 80s might only see adult content when you discover the adult magazines that your father has hidden alongside his National Geographics and Gardeners Weekly. Yesterday, they possessed VHS tapes containing Debbie Does Dallas and British window cleaners. Today, pornography is unstoppable. In just the push of a button, you can have your theatre of lavicious entertainment, suitable for all tastes, by no means of breaking the law, of course. Today, we're going to dive into the world's worst kept secrets and discuss how Pornhub skyrocketed to success. But before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Anyways, viewer's discretion is advised. We humans love to get lost in the erotic act, according to French writer Georges Bataille, in his book Eroticism, that is. The effects of such acts allow us to fight boredom and isolation and even defy death. Well, pornography does the same, but Bataille had no idea what was to come in the prior years. Let's just take a quick flashback on the history of pornography through the ages before discussing the biggest adult entertainment industry ever. The History of Adult Entertainment Starting with the prehistorical instances of pornography, we can see drawings of erotic acts on cave walls. As centuries passed by when the Roman civilization changed the way humans live, the Roman leaders loved to see getting into it, and archaeological artifacts were even found that show things such as people doing oral intercourse. In 1857, under the Obscene Publications Act, the Victorians banned pornography, and later on we saw the word pornography in the English dictionary. While the Romans thought seeing pictures of such lavicious acts was satisfying, the Victorians disagreed with it, as pornography would corrupt and deprave the minds of the uneducated people. Meanwhile, in France, the Marquis de Sade had written a political pornography, and in fact, sadomasochism is an acknowledged genre of adult entertainment right now. The first adult-related movie, to say the least, was made by someone who has worked with Thomas Edison in which he made the movie What the Butler Saw on mutoscope flickering images of women undressing. Fast forward to the 70s, people went to a special blue theatre to watch pornography, way more difficult to acquire than what we watch in front of our personal computers today. Ever familiar with the show The Deuce? It was being watched as an adult show on video in the 80s. This was the start of a huge industry where those lavicious acts were being normalized alongside drugs and alcohol. Internet porn became available in the 90s where the internet itself could accommodate videos. And here comes Pornhub, lurking on the web since the late 2000s, compiling a library of videos from several categories including professional and amateur adult content. Pornhub, how gross. Okay, enough with the history, let's take a look at the statistics. As you know, Netflix, Facebook, and Twitter are popular, but adult sites are way more popular than that. In fact, it's around a hundred billion dollar industry. If you're fond of downloading things, well, 35% of all internet downloads are pornography related. US health researchers told us that 64% of the population search for adult entertainment at least once a week as per the 2016 poll. For teenage boys, 93% of them were actively looking for pornography that year compared to the girls, which was only 63%. Well, we don't want to emphasize the statistics, as you know how much adult entertainment is watched as you're likely to be part of the statistics. So where do we see pornography? Well, this is actually a difficult question to answer because as we search for something pornography related, what we get is more pornography, and it doesn't answer our question after all. We used Alexa, which told us that Pornhub is indeed the most popular adult site. In fact, it's the 20th most hit site in the world. Next to Pornhub is LiveJasmine.com in 40th place and Xvideos in 41st place. The Canadian site was launched in 2007 and has gone back to back with staggering success. Although you might find countries that ban adult sites such as China and Thailand, even these countries are a breeding ground for prostitution and other lavicious entertainment. 
Anyway, let's try to dig deep into the things Pornhub can offer and what Pornhub has to say about itself. In 2017, the site summed a total of 28.5 billion visitors, having an average of 81 million visitors every single day. Pornhub once posted, with 24.7 billion searches performed on the site this year, there was clearly a lot to find, as this translates to about 50,000 searches per minute and about 800 searches per second. The site said this is quite humorous, as it's about the same size as hamburgers that McDonald's sells. Isn't that amazing? If you try to look at videos uploaded that year and watched every single video, it would take you 68 years to get through them. That is a lot to watch. Talking about size, uploaded videos rams up to 118 gigabytes per second, or shall we say 10,225,205 gigabytes per day. To make it clear, it means that 595,482 hours of video were uploaded in total. This was like 4 million videos. 810,000 of them come from amateur enthusiasts like yourself. But one question is in mind. Did people like them? Well, sad to say, people won't admit, but Pornhub said that 120 million videos were voted for and 80% of the reviews were positive. Porn for Women, which Pornhub admitted that it wasn't easy to explain, went high up to 1,400%. In terms of video views, it seems like women are getting into it, and it seems like they are unstoppable. Do you know what is the most searched keyword? No, it wasn't about erotic women or oversized men, you know what I mean, or Indo-European beauties or adorable Asian maids, it was lesbians. Pornhub wrote, lesbians have been the number one fantasy of men since the beginning of time. Women too. Women too, it seems, is into woman-on-woman -woman pornography. The next most searched keywords are as follows. Hentai, MILF, stepmom, stepsister, mom, teen, Japanese, massage, anal, ebony, cartoon, overwatch, and Asian. Kinda surprising, isn't it? Everything varies per country though. As per the British are eager to see the search of British chav, Indians liked wives, teachers and aunties, the Japanese liked schoolgirls and teens, the French liked French porn, and the Germans liked a bit of dirty talk. The Italians searched for Italians. As for the other countries in general, the top search term was actually the nationality of that country. The terms having a huge rise were cuckold, Japanese and Indian. As for our gay friends out there, their top searches were Japanese, Korean, straight first time and straight friend. Women's faves were lesbian, lesbian scissoring and threesome. Virtual reality or VR pornography became more popular and the most searched for adult star was Riley Reid. The next most searched female adult stars were Mia Khalifa, Lisa Ann, Kim Kardashian, Sunny Leone and Brandy Love. On the other hand, the most popular male stars were Jordi El Nino Poya, Mandingo, and Rocco Sifredi. Lastly, Pornhub writes 25 to 34 years old makes up 32% of Pornhub's visitors. Viewers on the ages of 18 to 24 make up 29% of our entire viewership in 2017, 35 to 44 was 17%, and 55 plus just 11%. As for the countries where the most people are watching Pornhub, the USA is taking the top spots, of course, followed by the UK, then India, then Japan, then Canada, France, Germany, Australia, Italy, and Brazil. In all, the average time spent on the site was 9 minutes and 59 seconds on each visit. The countries that spent the most time per visit included the Philippines with an average of 13 minutes and 28 seconds, South Africa with 11 minutes and 2 seconds, the USA with 10 minutes and 33 seconds, and Canada with 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Even in banned countries, users find a way to get around local restrictions. Ok, enough with the statistics. How worthy is all of this? Some say that Pornhub is worth around $4 billion. One person even said that the company withdraws $1.3 billion a month, but these are just speculations. Are you shocked by what you've heard? What do you think about the numbers and does it surprise you? Please leave a like in the comment section below, share, subscribe, until the next time, have a lovely day.